good morning good morning everyone i hope you're all doing well and this video finds you in good health as you can already tell from the title of the video i've decided to dive in uh, into the mermaid art prompt for uh, the year 2020 and i have a few sketches done already um, that you can see here uh, on my sketchbook and um, i have the thumbnails and compositions uh, laid out for this particular illustration now i'm not going to do the whole uh, 31 days but i do have a few selected art prompts uh, that i've made myself and uh, over the month of may i'll be posting uh, art illustrations illustrations and uh, videos based on mermaid so mine is going to be a bit different it's going to be a bit more um, creepy and realistic if that makes sense and um, i'm not going to go for the typical uh, mermaid mermaids uh, that uh, we used to so so yeah I am going to be begin sketching uh, the thumbnails and um, this is going to be this is fairly a uh, long video so you can watch uh, you can sorry uh, you can do anything that you want and play this in the background maybe you can draw along with me if you want uh, this is going to be more of a background noise draw with me uh, kind of video so yeah I hope you enjoy. I hope you, your mermaid illustrations and uh, drawings are going well. And uh, if you are doing mermaid, please uh, drop a link to either your Instagram or Facebook or Twitter that you're using. And um, yeah, leave links to your uh, mermaid illustrations. I'd love to see them. So for this particular piece, I've uh, decided to smash together, mesh together two very weird looking creatures. Um, the head is uh, taken from this uh, creature called the Gulper Eel uh, and the body uh, is from the Glaucus. Glau Glaucus? I'm not really sure how to pronounce it Glaucus Atlanticus and so now it's going to have the human torso as well um, and humanoid I should say uh, fairly humanoid um, torso and then the tail would be uh, the body of the Glaucus uh, Atlanticus and uh, the head is going to be like I said the culprit here so two creatures uh, smashing them together uh, with humanoid elements to it as well so yeah I'm not really sure if you can see the sketch that I'm doing with my um, blue lead pencil so and it's fairly boring as well so I'm going to speed it up and get back to you when I start 
uh, inking it. So, see you in a bit. Okay, with the rough sketch done, I'm going to start inking. I'm using the Tombow brush nib pens and this is actually my first time using uh, these pens. They're fairly cheap. Uh, I got them from Amazon. I'll have, uh, I'll have a list of my materials that I use uh, down in the description box with uh, links uh, to where you can get them i bought all of them from amazon so i'll have uh, links to amazon if you're interested in getting them so yeah just uh, i'm still getting used to uh, using them but uh, so far uh, i've liked it enjoyed it a lot and uh, now i'm going back to um, do a few more sketches on the torso the human part of the body i forgot to give in uh, details uh, to do any details on that so i've decided to make the, the gills uh, on its lungs because that feels a bit i don't know it just looks more real uh, the gills on the lungs because you know humans breathe through uh, lungs and uh, if i'm using the um, and, and if i'm using a human a humanoid uh, part in this body uh, in this illustration that I'm doing, I figured why not uh, put the lungs there? Uh, I mean, sorry, the gills there. So, yeah. And uh, that's about it. I will get back to you uh, as soon as I have uh, anything uh, interesting to add. So, yeah.
all right i am done inking uh, now i'm going to well first of all position the camera uh, and then i'm going to tape it up with uh, masking tape also known as artist tape if i'm not mistaken but i'm more used to the uh, um, masking tape so you can get this from almost anywhere actually um, either stationaries um, or uh, even hardware stores um, i believe uh, carpenters use them as well so yeah i bought mine from my local hardware store and um, they are really useful when you are doing when when you're using uh, wet mediums so whether it's ink watercolors or gouache all the sorts so yeah i'm gonna tape this up and get into the ink washes Okay, I am ready to do the ink washes. I've got my palettes ready, my brush, water, and um, I'm going to start off with a flat light wash of uh, the whole creature. And then from there, uh, I'm gonna go in and put in more details. So I'm basically going to go from light to dark so this is going to be the lightest shade, not counting the white negative areas that I'm going to leave as highlights. So yeah, this is the most uh, fun and at the same, at the same time uh, the most anxiety inducing part of the whole process because but I mean inking lining uh, is as well, but you can still to some extent uh, redo and correct your line art but when it comes to doing washes and when you start doing the actual uh, meat of the illustration the painting then you know you have to be alert and just uh, have a have a, have an image already in mind of how you want your illustration to look at least that's what I've learned uh, from watching other uh, watching and learning from other uh, illustrators who mainly use uh, ink and watercolors ink is such a diverse medium and uh, it's also a bit unforgiving for example uh, if, if you use watercolors and it depends on the type of ink uh, you use as well but if you use watercolors you're able to lift uh, the watercolors you know if it dries out when it dries and if you see that if you see if made a mistake or if there's uh, a wash that you feel that's a bit too dark then you can go in and lift it up a bit but whereas with ink it's a bit more difficult uh, it depends on the type of ink you're using if it's a waterproof ink then you know once it dries it's dry but if it's a non-waterproof ink, then uh, maybe you can uh, work on it again. The ink that I'm using is the Kuretake, Kuretake ink, uh, Sumi ink, Kuretake Sumi ink 60. And I bought this from Amazon as well a couple of years ago and I've been using it on and off. And uh, it's, it's a really rich, uh, back uh, and uh, I really enjoy uh, uh, working on it using it and uh, yeah it's a good product again uh, any and all materials that I'm using I am going to put links Amazon links to where you can buy them if you want except for the masking tape uh, I got that from my local hardware store uh, I'm sure you can get it from Amazon as well or just check your local hardware store um, just ask them for painters no wait masking tape or carpenters tape I, think, I believe so yeah I'm sure they'll know it or you can just show them a, a 
a picture of uh, of the product of this tape from your phone and i'm sure they'll know it from there
Okay, I am mostly done with the ink washes on the creature and I am going to do the background background now, uh, the background wash but uh, before I do that, I've decided to use uh, my masking fluid and this is a new uh, a new art supply that I got for myself. Uh, this is actually my first time using it. So I uh, just wanted to, to check it out. And at the same time, um, I thought I would leave a negative white space surrounding um, the creature and see if that kind of makes uh, that see if that makes it pop out more and catches the eye more. So this was a bit of an experiment uh and also a test of uh, using this new product that i've got it's by uh, daniel smith uh daniel smith masking fluid with applicator and so again links on where you can buy them and uh, i will add this though that it's a bit difficult to apply it um my initial thoughts were that um, like the the fluid itself the masking fluid is quite watery uh, i thought it would be a bit more thicker uh, but yeah that's one and then the other one is that if there's any if there are any bubbles inside the bottle when you try and um, squeeze it out it's not going to come out properly so you, i'm sure you'll uh, you must have noticed um, while watching so there are a lot of bubbles um, that just disrupts the flow of um, the, the masking fluid. So careful when you, you are applying. Um, if, if you're using this, uh, the lesson that I've learned is that uh, not to shake it too much uh, before using it. And so that would create more bu bubbles. So I will say this though, peeling off uh, dried masking fruit is a ton of fun. Now as you can see, uh, I'm going back to uh, the areas that I uh, I applied the masking tape on, uh, masking fruit on. I keep getting confused with masking tape and masking fruit. Oh. So yeah, I'm going back to it and uh, decided that I did not uh, really like how it turned out. Uh, uh, the areas that I use the masking fluid on. So I decided to um, just take uh, paint paint over it. Now as you can see the uh, the part here where I'm um, painting these uh, the appendages uh, of the, the lower part of the body of this creature. You can see that the background is uh, taking away most of the illustration, uh, the uh, appendages like you can't really see it. So um, once I'm done with the background, uh, with the wash, I'm going to go over it again, the, just the whole area. Uh, I'm going to put highlights on it. So, and um, hopefully that should take care of it and make the image more, like, pop out more uh, with the highlights. So. For the white, white lights, highlights, what am I talking about? For the white highlights, I am using the Jelly Roll um, pens, white pens, and I got these from Amazon as well. I believe this, these are also from Japan and they are very, very cheap. Um, I got one, a pack of five or ten of them and I still have the first one, like I'm still using the first one. I've, I've gone maybe halfway through uh, the first one and uh, yeah it's it's a gel pen and so it's cheap 
and yeah it's fairly good again descriptions down below links to where you can buy them uh, and just a huge uh, just a disclaimer all the links are affiliate links so if you do happen to uh, buy any of the products listed below i will get a small commission from amazon with no extra charge from you uh, from your end so you pay the normal amount that uh, that's listed there on uh, amazon and then amazon you know gives me a small commission for hey you know just advertising uh, the products that, that they're selling All right, so I'm done with this illustration and with that comes the most important, all important, super relaxing, no anxiety related inducing peeling off the masking tape and holding your breath and hoping that doesn't tear your paper. I always enjoy doing this um, I want to speed it up now and um, yeah thanks again for watching I hope you like uh, the illustration that I made and um, the video as well uh, it's a little longer uh, so again like I said this is this was like a draw with me draw along with me kind of video and uh, I hope you enjoy watching here is the final rendition of the painting give a thumbs up a like if you uh, enjoyed the video comment down below on uh, whether you're participating on Mermi or not and if you are please link uh, please uh, post the link of your social media accounts and uh, subscribe for future videos cheers